Welcome to this two minute techie tip on using our Google Gmail email account. Brought to you by the Lehman Christie Saints Club, students actively involved in networking and technology. This is Cindy, and as a Saint Squad member, our goal is to establish student centered learning environments by promoting the transferable skills of creativity, communication, collaboration, and critical thinking. So let's get to it and learn about using our Google Gmail email account, something you need to know. Knowing all the ins and outs of, of our email application is an important skill, and Gmail has a ton of features, and this tutorial will review a few of the important ones. First, let's look at our email window. In the center is the list of my incoming emails. Um, that other people have sent me. So if I start on the left side, this area will tell me from whom the email was sent, so right here. Um, in the center I can see the subject of the email and some of the beginning email text. So this is the subject and then this is the beginning of the um, email. Over here I see the date that the email was sent. Notice this little box on the left side. It is sometimes called a tick box. If a ticket, if I tick it or click it, I am given I am given option for that message. When I get an email, I have some choices so as it, to what to do with it. I am going to click on this email to open it. Um, this message has been has was sent to three different accounts, but I need to respond. I have the option of replying to sender or reply all. I have to be aware of this because there are times when I just need to reply to one person. I don't need to resp respond to everyone. Ne Next, we we need to know all about how to start an email. Here's a Gmail window, and it is called composing a message. So let's go back. Um, on the left side of my window, I see a compose button. This will let me create or compose a new email message. So when I click it, I see this. The to field is where I enter the email address of the person I am sending my email to. So I know what that I want to email Saint Squad, the other Saint Squad members, and I know this his email, their emails, address addresses is is Saint Squad 01 at lcsaints.org. Perfect, it knows who I'm going to. Okay, now we then I need to enter something in the subject line. It is super important that we use subject lines to organize our emails. So for example, I'm writing to the other Saint Squad members to ask about our um Let's do email project. Okay. So far, so for example, I'm writing oh <laughs> project that is this that is what I'm going to enter in the subject line. Under the subject line, I enter the content of the email. I need to let the other Saint Squad members know how, that I found a great image to use of um, an animal. Um, I, and I am sharing that with them. Um, I have, okay, so you write, Dear Saint Squad I have found this great picture of a whale. I would like to use it in our project. Is that okay? There we go now, I just wrote the email. 
Um, now I need to know about all these options that are on the bottom of the email message. Text formatting is right here. Um, I need to highlight the text and then I can change the text style, make it bold, change the size, italics, etc. So, let's highlight it because I want to make it bigger. Hi, isn't this working? Oh, there we go. So, then you hit this and then it says size and you can make it huge, large, normal, or small. So I'm going to make it large. Okay. The paper clip lets me attach files right here. Um, the Google Drive lets me attach documents from my drive, which is super helpful. So this little drive symbol right there. I'm going to skip the dollar sign. That doesn't pertain to us. Um, so this image lets me insert a picture right here. So I have this image of whales on my desktop that I want to send to Tim. I mean, to the other Steam Squad members. <laughs> um, I can click on this upload picture my up to upload my picture, and I can if the picture is on my desktop, I can just drag it into my email. So let's go over here, drag it in. And now it's in my email. Um, it is also very easy to insert links to, into my email. I where here is the web page that I want to share with the other Skin Squad members with our research on whales. So let's go to whales. Mm -hmm. Whales. Now I'm gonna highlight this. Command C, as we taught you earlier, and we're gonna go back here, and we're gonna insert a link. So insert a link. To what URL should this link go to? I mean, go. So we're gonna hit web address, but that's always ready for you, so you really don't need to do anything there. So then you do Command V, and then you hit OK. So now it is in there. Um. So once I have all these decisions made, I can just hit click on the send button. And then I can send this email. And one more thing to know. Your Gmail will work and in, in be best friends with your Google Calendar. So for example, if I like if I if I look at this email that is a test reminder, I see that this is this says we have a test on Monday. When I hover over this text right here. Um, I can add it, so let's go here, and go up. So if I hover over this, I can add that to my event, to my calendar, but my teacher did not add in, um, um, a link, so I cannot do that, but when they do, it's going to be bold. And blue like it like you put into a, like a PowerPoint or something. So that is all about my about using our our Google Gmail email accounts. Topic from the Lumen Christie Saint Squad. Thanks for watching this two minute techie tip. Remember that with technology we can empower ourselves as learners and remove the limitations of the traditional classroom and teach and learn in ways previously inconceivable. Thank you.